Welcome to the Writer's Den. My name is Jane Waters Thomas, and with me today um, is an author who truly is a wonder girl, Shelley Bloom. Welcome. Thank you. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit today about your book, um, Water Ski Girl Wonder. Mm -hmm. And I just have to say that I read the book, uh, you know, it's first, it's a fast read, which is awesome yeah. because it's not like, oh my gosh, I need to reread that. It's, mm. it's written so. Just there's flow. Succinctly. I wanted yes, to get yes. a lot in with the shortest amount of words. Absolutely. And you did. You did a beautiful job. Thank you. Um, but you know, I want to talk about this subtitle of A Journey of Perseverance mm -hmm. a little bit. And um, and we're going to work through this book a little bit on okay. this show. Wow. Um, so that this is a first. Thank you. <laughs> wow. I'm excited. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Shelly, um, are you from the Florida region? Originally, um, I, I've transplanted here, so um, that counts. Yeah, I originally from I grew up in Lake of the Ozarks, mm -hmm. so beautiful. I'm a hillbilly girl. That's okay. You know, from the Show Me State. Right on. And I spent I spent all of my growing up early uh, formative years there, but um, my father was in the military. So we did do a lot of traveling mm -hmm. when he was in my life. And so uh, that lends itself to learning to adapt a mm -hmm. lot, as you may know. So I was born in North Carolina and uh, on the military base, uh, Camp Lejeune, the mm -hmm. Marine Corps military base. And uh, then we just, um, you know, we just followed wherever my father was stationed and he flew off the aircraft carriers and um, so um, yeah, that's pretty much my um, two 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 big memories of my life are um, marine marine bases, mm -hmm. Missouri, and then I made the big jump to Florida in uh, 1986 to the water ski capital. Yes, um, yes, yes. So you were at, you were at home like instantly, right? <laughs> it, it, it was it was a big change, but at the same time, um, I was in my element. You know, I was in my, um, I had, I, I came down, I was, I just came out of college and I was, um, you know, I'm older now and looking back on it, I was at the, you know, the peak of my athleticism and that mm -hmm. would be like my Olympics, you know, Cypress Absolutely. Gardens, water ski capital of oh. the world, right? For show skiing. Absolutely. And there's no uh, higher pinnacle of uh, wa show skiing water achievement, I don't think. Yes, I and, and being from Central Florida myself, I completely agree with you. Yeah. Now, you know, I am I am giant into boxing and mm, off-road bicycling, mountain That's biking, cool. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, water skiing, water's not my element. Oh wow! I love to swim. I mm -hmm. love everything about it. Um, but man, to watch you guys mm -hmm. on little planks of wood fly <laughs> around on water mm -hmm. with absolutely no fear is exciting. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that you mention in your book is about um, the freestyle water skiing component, right. in which I am a huge fan of extreme sports and mm -hmm. freestyle water skiing definitely. Yeah, yeah it's, the, it's the grandfather of it, really, of wakeboarding, of everything. So um, I never, and that is the one thing I'm so disappointed that um, I got um, my um, life changing and career ending injury happened to me in 1989. So I never got to get on a wakeboard. Oh, wow. And, um, you know, it just almost tears me up a little bit thinking about it because I could have really, I, I feel like I could have really got an even start with the men, you mm -hmm. know? And with the way that I was about my um, jumping and my freestyle skiing, I think I could, I could have really um, had to go with it, you know? Well, you know, in chapter two, mm -hmm. um, the um, boys rule and girls drool chapter, which <laughs> I love the title yeah. of that for any strong woman yeah. who needs a great book to mm -hmm. read, chapter two yeah. is like the chapter. Yeah, I start, I start letting you know there's some, there, it's, it's not bang over the head feminism, but it's, you're, you're gonna be dealing with, you know, women that are a little bit more aggressive or strong-willed mm. and, and this is this little girl and it feels weird talking about my character like this and I hope I don't come off as too self-absorbed or conceited but the protagonist, the character that you're going to follow through the book is me mm -hmm. so it's hard to talk 
You have to talk about you. you. This is you in this book. Right, right. For sure. And so, um, but yeah, I like like that I start it very chronologically and and just take you from, I mean, I think even my first sentence is the first memory. Mm -hmm. And so um, I take you from my first memories and, and try to wrap it in the big moments. You know, take mm-hmm. take big moments of my life that, um, and in fact, um, once I get to Cypress Gardens, I um, allude to and have at home just piles and piles and piles of journals, you know, that mm-hmm. I started keeping because um, that was one way, and I think you must know it too, you're mm-hmm. a writer, so yeah. cathartically you can write and uh, really, um, you know, get through and process through and, um, you know, move through really hard, hard, hard places and points and times in your life. Absolutely, it's very much therapy. Yeah. And I think that for I don't want to say all writers, I wouldn't want to jump to that kind of assumption, but I believe that that writing as a general rule, when you're writing specifically about your life's experiences, mm-hmm. I think even sometimes in fiction, when when we're using our life's experiences to explain yes. our fictional character, it's therapy. It's, yeah, it's positive absolutely. therapy. Yeah, and and in reading your book, um, going through the chapters and just you know chronologically watching your life develop, mm-hmm. watching tragedy happen, watch how you have to deal with your mm-hmm. mother, yeah, and and how your mother has to deal with you, yeah, and and you're a strong lady. I yeah. mean, you're a very strong woman. I just want to say it the way oh, it is. Thank you. And so when you read this book, that comes shining through. Yeah. But what I love about this book is that, you know. You're telling your story and the importance of water skiing, mm-hmm. but for any young woman who needs to look at mm-hmm. a goal setting, yes. goal achieving, yes. strong woman, you're in this book. Yeah, I, I do think it is. Um, you know, there, there's a there's a very strong message, and like you say, it's wrapped in the skiing. But you don't have to be a skier to right. get the. Um, I've had uh, book reviewers say that, you know, that like, wow, uh, you know, everybody can get something from this. And that was the whole idea. You know, I, I think I set out with it being just to touch all of us, you know, and just to have a connection and, um, gosh. Yeah. Well, it's funny because, you know, the title, Water Ski Girl Wonder, mm-hmm. after I read the book, I went, the title's completely flip-flopped. It should be Girl Wonder Water Skis. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and it's funny that you say that because um, uh, in Missouri, and it's it's anecdotal, and when people read it, there will be some people, and I know, and I, I'm saying this right up front, water skiers that are still in the sport, past water skiers, they're all going to have a certain kind of recoil to mm-hmm. to the title, you know, because it's like, well, water ski girl, who does she, you know, right. you know what I mean? You yes. can't, because I even feel that way about it. When I knew that I was think, contemplating, what do I call this thing? In Missouri, they called me Girl Wonder. Of course, I was w- water skiing, so, mm-hmm. you know, but you're right, The it is, it, and then to be totally honest, in this social media, technologically advanced world that we live in now, girlwonder.com was already taken. Oh, how fun. Yeah. How so fun. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. So I had to, you know, okay. And then I was even thinking uh, titles like um, Beyond Cypress Gardens. Yeah. But then I thought, because that would really plug Cypress Gardens and bring attention to Central mm-hmm. Florida, which I'm okay with and I'm all about, but there are a lot of people in the world that would be like, what's that about? Yeah, who's Cypress Gardens? Well, and I'll tell you, you know, I, I, and of course, being from the Central Florida region, of mm-hmm. course, we are on PG TV. Yeah. Um, and so we're, we're talking, is, we're talking to a, home, you know? know? Exactly. <laughs> and so they're like, oh, she should have called it Beyond Cypress yeah, Gardens. <laughs> Beyond <laughs> Cypress Gardens, yeah. because it makes a lot of sense. And yeah. there's a lot of, a lot of amazing, amazing water ski, um, Hall of Famers, right? That came from right there right, right. on and that I, water. And I, if they touched my life, I tried to have it be that 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 I give homage to them in mm-hmm. some way. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I don't. I can't mention everybody, but like, if there was any, and they, and and that's the thing that people don't realize when you're any kind of um, role model, um, especially in the sports arenas. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's so important because your slight to a younger person, or, or even, it doesn't have to be a younger person, but mm-hmm. your slight or your um, non-enthusiasm um, towards somebody that is looking up to you, is, it can really be devastating. Mm-hmm. And, and, and even in any world, 
Absolutely. In the writing world. And it's not every, it's not just girls, even though there's a giant there's a giant story outside of your water ski career in this book mm -hmm. about just perseverance and getting to the next goal and, right. and what those feelings were because what you wrote beautifully in here was how you were feeling. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in you this got book. that. Yeah. 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 I wanted to ask you about that because um, you know, there's this big argument out there and this is the first time I've got to talk to a writer. Uh -huh. I mean, normally all the other little, I mean, well, some of them have been writers, but what they, they're, it's written. Mm -hmm. you, they send you some questions and then you answer those questions. Not like this, right. where I can ask you a question right. too. That's right. So um, my question would be to you about the whole argument with the show and the tell. Have you heard that? That show versus tell thing? Mm -hmm. Because what I'm hearing from you is that but somehow did I tell it enough that it was showing it? It, absolutely, of, but I think, what, in my opinion, to that yeah. question, because yes, that that is a big yeah, the, which perspective to go yeah, from right. kind of thought. You uh -huh. know, you wrote from feeling, which was certainly tell, but chronologically, you mapped this book out so that it showed exactly where yes. you were going through this process. Right. You could follow from high school to college to you know yeah. each new triumph yeah. right. and or fall yeah and or fall yeah you know yeah. Um, and so yeah I, I think I think both of them are extremely important and I think that passionate writers yeah um, I th there you go that's that, that's yeah. possibly the difference that mm -hmm. we're talking about in that show and tell mm -hmm. and I'm certain that and I've got some beautiful friends who are superior writers mm -hmm. um, in our community mm -hmm. who I think would weigh in maybe a little differently yeah. because yeah. I think one is is that you are you are maybe a self-taught writer, you're right. a self-taught artist. Yeah. This is just bleh. As opposed yeah, to yeah. Right. somebody that, that really, yeah, and I, yes. you know, I laud those people, and I really, I would I, I would like to learn from them, but 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 there's this a little bit, I feel this too, and that, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, maybe we're getting too deep, in, but this is writer's den, this right? This is the writer's den. We're this talking is, about writing. That's right. And so I, I do feel sometimes a little bit of a, a redis, a reticency, it's that a word I don't know but um, with um, that 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 you know that that could be the um, the, the negative mm -hmm. of, a, of a critique of it it's mm -hmm. like um, you know she 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 tells us a little too much rather than show and then but then like you say preference and passion and this is what I know and, and uh, one of the greatest people that I've ever had the pleasure of, of calling mentor. His name is Niv Ben Yehuda. We were standing in an art gallery one day and he said, do you know what makes art beautiful, Chica? <laughs> and I said, what is that? Mm -hmm. and, and the same would be true of writing. Mm -hmm. It would be the reader. Yes. It would be the reader. So if you're writing from passion, and this is a well-told story, uh -huh. start to finish, you know, from chapter one to 12, and even, even your afterward is beautiful mm -hmm. and yeah. explains so much about sort of who you are on the planet, you uh -huh. know? Uh -huh. And and the writer's den, our you know, our show is about uncovering who you are as a oh, writer. This is so cool. You know, it's wow. it's my hope that yeah. this is the first of many stories I from so. Shelley Bloom. Oh yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So, you know, looking at, you know, we, we started with where you started from, mm -hmm. you know, we got through the this is this is your character, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean your personal character, mm -hmm. not character just in mm -hmm. the book, okay. Mm -hmm. But your personal character is one of just being a strong person. And if I remove the girl part of this, the female part of this, which, you know, strong ladies like to talk about strong ladies mm -hmm. in, in a very positive light. If I remove that, this is a good story for any athlete right. who thinks that it's just going to come. Yeah, no. Because it's not. It isn't. Right. So yeah. tell me a little bit about, from an athletic standpoint, you know, I, I remember reading about bowling trophies and, mm -hmm. and, and the day that you took down all of the awards yeah. and you had to decide what you were going to keep. Yeah. What were you thinking in that part of the story? Um, you know, um, I, I was, it was, at that point, I was, it was pretty, sing, I was pretty singular, you know, my mom was off, always working, or even, in fact, I think she had, all, all my brothers and sisters had moved out of the house, and so it was pretty much just me there, mm -hmm. and um, I had to make this move to Florida, and I was just in shock that, you know, they were going to pay my gas money to right. come down <laughs> and stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know. To and, do your dream. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and so I'm like, I have a little Datsun B210 little hatchback, you know, uh -huh. and I've got to pack that thing up. And I go up in the room and 
my little cubicle room and you know it, it was just the typical you know high school move into college years room with the posters up and stuff and my awards around and I thought you know I can't take all of this with me mm -hmm. and I didn't I wasn't even sure you know what would happen with the house later on because I didn't you know in, in, in the end I, I my mom's gonna be frustrated that I told us I think that house got you know foreclosed on or whatever mm -hmm. but you know that's real life yeah that's yeah. how you know this I mean, is the story it's real yeah. life <laughs> and so um, uh, I, I knew that what I would take was going to be what I what would mean something to me so um, uh, you know, I took. I, I think you, I say in the part there about grabbing my letter jacket. And, yes. Uh, I was so. Uh, you know. That was a big moment. Yeah. That I was think, actually a really defining moment. Yeah. I said, and I, and I grabbed it and I smelled it, and it was it was it was winter, mm -hmm. so I was going to need it anyway. You know, so okay, this has got to go with me, and then everything else, um, the awards and stuff, I put in the trash and thought. I can't, this isn't, I can't load up with this, you know, there's mm -hmm. not really room for it and what am I going to do, so I just put them all in there. And was there anything in you that was like, I'm about to go do this again? Like, these are my awards from this segment of life. No, was there no, anything like no, that? It was just you no. didn't, you just couldn't take them? No, just okay. couldn't take them. And um, I did at the at the end grab, uh, and it's so funny because I have my 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 letter jacket and the little it's a Tupperware old Tupperware um, thing where my my mom and my sister has started a scrapbook mm -hmm. for me, and um, and that came too, and so other than that from Missouri the only way to prove or to you know uh, say the things that happened that happened. Would be to have these little right. little little trinkets or little and I don't, trinkets aren't even the right word. I mean, just that scrapbook and my letter jacket and then just articles and stuff that had been written through right. the years of right. what I was doing. What was your resume? Yeah, it, it was your resume yeah. in in a scrapbook. Yeah, and, <laughs> and and I could totally see, and I may be completely wrong, but in that part of the story, I see you as a woman who is just about getting to the next goal at that point in life. It was like, I did that, now I'm yeah. going to go do that. Yeah. And so I could see how, yeah. you know, th there's probably and no I resume, and, and, it's and, just there. I, I didn't realize, and this is a really, um, just for other people to know in the ski world and also in an athletic, because um, that's where we're at right now, on the athletic level, I thought it would come down and, 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 and there'd be this big cabal of us all these other women that were doing what I was doing. I had no idea I was going to be the only one. So can you imagine mm -hmm. when I came and then it, it, it then it, you know, I mean, it's not, it's not um, unbearable, right. I mean, obviously. And, and then as they were sending me places and doing things, I developed in, 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 in as humble a way with as much humility as I could have at that point in time in my life. I'm like 22 to 24. Mm -hmm. And um, and you're brilliant at, at your your sport. I mean, so 22 to 24, yeah. and you really are brilliant well, and, at what and, you're doing. And I'm, I'm, I'm the only woman, only, you know, which, and what's so crazy is, I mean, there are women out there mm -hmm. that can and have the ability, no doubt, but they're not doing it. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? Um, Courage, courage. It's a, it's, it's, um, and 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 then and then reward on the other side. Mm -hmm. For me, it was the goal that I had set, and because of just the way that I am, that and you know, I am one of those people, or or die trying. You know, mm -hmm. I set that goal, and that was what I mean. I was all I think about. I even say it in there, like the Moby Dick. It was my nemesis. I had to kill this well. I had to, I, I, I that's all I thought about. Mm -hmm. I, I remember just like wanting to cry and be on the phone with people. I don't remember who I was talking to, but saying, you know, and I'm in Missouri, the house that I left to come to Florida. And I'm on the phone with somebody just, I, you know, and it's painful. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just that I was taking falls. They were just, they were, it, they were brutalizing me. You know what I mean? So on top of working up the courage for that session to go out to do it, mm -hmm. I knew I was going to get beat up. I knew I was going to be in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. I knew that I didn't think I would die. Right. You know, I didn't think I could die from it. Right. But I, I did know every time I went out there was the possibility of broken bones or, 
you know, spitting up blood or always getting the air knocked out of me. I mean, mm -hmm. that was a given. That's why in the beginning, yeah. in the opening scene of the book, and oh, mm -hmm. I have the best, and I wish so bad, listen to this, okay? Are you ready for ready? this? Yep, yep. Okay, so, because you know that originally I had written a screenplay. I did not know that. Yeah, this okay. was originally a screenplay, and then the Hollywood thing, and I'm not going to say all okay. of that yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. So don't give away um, too much. Yeah, there's stuff in there. Yeah, <laughs> right. So um, I have the way that I wish that the beginning of the book would be now, and it would mm -hmm. be fabulous because I mean I'm just now starting to kind of knock on the door of Hollywood again because I went out there, mm -hmm. and that experience wasn't so good. Mm -hmm. Time marches on. Right. Now I'm ready to knock on that door again. But the way that I wish, now I have a calling card. My calling card is that, is right. the book. Mm -hmm. And so, but if I could have started the beginning of the book, Fade In, mm -hmm. Black of Night, Harley Davidson, mm -hmm. the roar of, because it's a distinctive noise. Right. Harley Davidson in the background. It becomes louder and louder. There's a full moon. You hear um, Highway to Hell mm -hmm. playing over in the background. Voices arguing, my brother, me, his wife. Mm -hmm. Then you get the keep on keeping on being perverted on the throttle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crash, dark, mysterious. We don't know what's happening, right? Then bright of day, mm -hmm. 2011, Oregon, two voices. Now we have a face to it. It's the Shelley character. It's the Brent character. Mm -hmm no wife anymore. Come on, Shelly, mm. get up here. Don't be, don't be a baby. I would say the P word, but yeah, I wouldn't say yeah. it. Don't be, a, uh, get up here, twins, show us your legacy. Come on, I'm daring you. Get up here, do a dive. Mm -hmm. I go up to the platform, I start to dive. Mm -hmm. I morph into four and a half year old Shelly. Oh, wow. It's flat. Mm. The book begins. Interesting. And have that be the beginning of the book. Gotcha. Like it opens in screenplay form and yeah. then turns into my book. Well, that's, and, that's and, and, powerful. And, and because of the way that you've read and you know mm -hmm. the afterword, yes. then it's like dive, dive, book ended, boom, boom, all the way through. Yeah. Well, you know, um, I'm, I don't want to give away the title of uh, Chapter 7 because the title of that, that chapter in and of itself is extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. But it was the, the left turn. Yeah. in your life. Yes. For sure. Tell me a little bit about your your accident and, and what happened after that time. Yeah. Um, um, well, you know, that day was, it's really weird. I have a friend and I'm going to mention him because I didn't put him in the book and I feel bad about that, but his name is Ron Clifford. And this guy was brilliant. I mean, he could just, he, 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 he was, had a real deep soul and we talked a lot and we were up in the stadium. The day that this happened, and I was sitting in the stadium and he was saying to me, Shelly, he goes, I've been watching you work on your gainers and you know, I've seen you make a few and you're looking really good. He goes, I, I, gotta, I gotta give you this piece of advice. He said, he goes, you can't fight the landing. Don't fight the landing. And I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, I, I hear you, you know, right? In one year and nothing, yeah, 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 and um, and and I said, okay. Later on, um, and then I, I, you know, not to give all every little nuance of the detail of it, but you know, I'm confronted, I'm, I'm put in a position that through all the years that I've had to think about um, that day and and how everything went down, I should have never been put in that position. Mm. But I always wanted to please my bosses. Yeah. And so, I mean, who does it? You're an it? over yeah. It's a good thing. And You're um, so I just took it all in stride. And when it led up to the point of, um, you know, falling forward and having my head slip into that triangle of the bridle, mm -hmm. 36 miles an hour, after being told by one friend of mine don't fight the landing, and then being told by my boss just before this last trick, mm -hmm. get tough on the landing bomb. Mm -hmm. Those were the, you know, and it's so weird because 
There have been there's been a few moments in my life. The diving board uh, when I was standing up on the di diving board, I knew that wasn't going to be good, but mm -hmm. I didn't think it would be. Right. Yeah. You know. Right. But that moment when I heard that, and I knew that I would follow through with it because that's the kind of person I am. Unto death. Yes. I was going to get tough on that landing. Mm -hmm. And um, as it was all happening, I thought this is not going to be good, but I had no idea that I would like, and I hate to say this in a weird way, not see the face of God mm -hmm. or not, but n know that I was that close to death, mm -hmm. that I was praying to God. Yes. Which I'm not really even, I mean, some people wouldn't call me a spiritual, well, I'm not, I, I'm not really a religious person, mm -hmm. but I am a very spiritual person, I think, right. if that yeah, makes sense. Absolutely. And I pray to God every day, all day, nonstop. Right. You know, I really do. And it's just, but it's, um, it's just a way to get outside of myself mm -hmm. and um, show gratitude. Always at the end of whatever I'm, you know, praying about, mm -hmm. always say, you know, about how blessed I feel. So really, as much as that took away, all of it took away from me and just, you know, the rug got, the rug got pulled out from under me that day. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, just going, being on the gurney, laying in the hallway, going, thinking, this is, this is it. Right. And, then, and then going into my own little world of Hail Mary, you know, full of oh, grace, grace. Yeah, right. the Lord is with me, blessed, you know, and, yeah. and how I would remember that, I don't know, but I went to church, Catholic church, my, all my, all my brothers and sisters were baptized Catholic, I was the only one they got mm. bored, I guess, and I wasn't, but um, I went to church enough to know then have those memorized, and even yes. my sister said, you, you would have never said that, I said, oh yes, I would, Tamara, yeah. because that is what I, that is what I went to, right, when I felt that, yeah, and I've done you just it, knew, yeah, to the readers, that are in our community that are watching us um, at the Writer's Den. This mm -hmm. is a very powerful book, um, Water Ski Wonder Girl by Shelley Blom. And um, Shelley, do you offer speaking engagements? Um, you know, can yeah, I would. I absolutely would. Um, in fact, just before I left today, um, I got a call from a guy in New York, and I hope maybe you know I, I'm looking for and towards somebody that can help help me with that mm -hmm. scheduling that and everything sure. because I do think I. You know, this is my first go at something like this, mm -hmm. so I'm not very polished, but I'll get better, and I can, you know, have a, 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 a we, we went a lot deeper than I thought we would about talking about my book, which is fine, mm -hmm. but like I could, um, I'm, I'm confident that um, in getting up in front of, like maybe even s school age kids, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. my kids and stuff. Well, and you're an inspiration, and, and that book travels around that word, inspiring, inspiration, oh, thank courage, you. strength, it's it's just a great Thank story you. for aspiring athletes um, I and for that. anyone who is just that that go get them person yeah. that you know and, and overachiever gets such a bad rap but yeah. I'm saying it in such compliment it's because so nice overachieving is what gets books written about stories that are dynamic. So, Shelley, thank you so much for being thank with you. us at the Writer's Den. I'm looking forward to maybe that screenplay yeah. or another book yeah. soon. I think that would be my next, if I really, I, but the passion has to be there. Mm -hmm. I have to feel like that I, ha, you know, it has to be, I have to do it. I'm not there yet. I'm still trying, I mean, the baby's been born and I'm tr still trying to, um, get this little baby up, you know. Well, what a, what a fun interview you are because you truly are the first writer, you know what I mean? You're in that first yeah, writer perspective. Right, right. And and I got my book finished yeah. and, and it really is, I can't just, I just can't say enough that it's such a good Thank read. Thank you. Um, and so, Shelly, how will people get a hold of you if they would like to um, schedule you or, or how would they purchase your book? Um, waterskigirlwonder.com, okay. shellyblum.com, Shelly with an I-E, Blum, okay. B-L-U-M, and um, G Google, Google yeah, anywhere, and, you know, I'm website, Google, and I'm, I'm on all the social media, like Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and I'm very open. Shelly, thank you so much for being with us today on the Writer's Den, and congratulations on your first book, Water Ski Girl Wonder, and we look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. 
Thank you for joining us at the Writer's Den. We'll see you next time.